In the story, Symbols and Signs by Vladimir Nodakov, we are told about a 20-year-old man who is in a mental institution due to a disorder called referential mania. The prompt that I am going to discuss is my interpretation on the end of the story. However, to explain my interpretation on the end of the story, I am going to use four symbols that I found throughout the story that help strengthen my argument. So I am basically answering two of the prompts, Mr. Weber. To me, the end of the story is a declaration of the suicide of the son. The third time the phone rings at the mother and father's house, it is the mental hospital calling to tell the mother and father that their son has successfully committed suicide. The main reason I believe this is because of the repetitive symbols of death shown throughout the story. One of the first symbols is when the subway train breaks down on the way to visit their son at the mental hospital. This could represent the sun finally breaking as well. His desire to live is no longer running, just as the subway train is no longer running. Another symbol is the bird that was spotted dying in a puddle as they are walking out of the mental hospital. The bird represents their son and his struggle at life. His mental illness traps him under the water of depression and anxiety, just as the real water traps the bird. Another symbol I saw of death in the story that really stood out was the photo of Aunt Rose that was killed by the Nazis. This symbol is one of the strongest due to its proximity to the end of the story and the family connection of death. This symbol of family death represents overpowerment, which is exactly what the son's mental disorder is doing to him. He is overpowered by the anxiety he feels and the conspiracy that everything in his world is turning against him. The final symbol I discovered was when the father walks out of his room at night and claims that his son is dying. This basically gives it away from me. His son is going to commit suicide if they do not get him out of that mental hospital. It will be all their fault because they didn't give him the life he deserved. They couldn't help him escape his troubles. The story completely ends on the final phone call, proving that it represents the final moment of the son's life. All of these symbols tie together to prove that the third and final phone call the mother and father receive is delivering them the news they they hoped they'd never have to hear. Their son has successfully taken his own life.